So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, you missed the beginning of Lent. Always an exciting time. Churches are packed for it. Um, actually, you, meant, you missed the beginning of Lent. We celebrated communion and our communion table, as well as lectern and pulpit, were in the midst of an Old West saloon, uh, a den of iniquity, a place of sin somehow seemed appropriate as we began the Lenten journey today thinking about sin and wondering if David gets it right in Psalm 51 when he says that that he was born in sin he was in sin from the moment his mother conceived him we wondered what that could possibly mean what it means to sin if we go to see Fifty Shades of Grey or if we've read the books are we sinful? If we watch reality TV, are we sinners? Well, David would say we are, but not because we do those things, but because we're actually born in sin. And it becomes very tricky as we want to spend our time in Lent trying to overcome sin, trying to create in ourselves, with God's help, a, a clean heart, a broken spirit even. So, as we wondered about sin and as we heard the choir sing so beautifully that Paul McCartney song Blackbird we began to wonder what it means to to fly with broken wings what it means to be broken and what it is we're after when we try to free ourselves from sin and I suggested that perhaps we start to think of sin as separation more than a list of things that we have done wrong or things that have happened to us, we, we begin to consider sin our natural state. We are separated from God. And in our life, we, we try to overcome that separation. And in the Lenten journey, we try to create in ourselves a, a clean heart that we might overcome the separation, that we might recognize God's presence, that we might recognize that table that calls us to communion all around, not just in church, but but in saloons and down the street and in shopping malls and at work and at school. Tables popping up everywhere, inviting us to come to the table to be at one with each other, with all of creation and at one with God. And as we discover ourselves at one with God, sin, separation disappears. Sin is that thing that separates us from God. So it may be one thing for you and another thing for me, another thing for your neighbor. And in Lent, we try to figure out what those things are in our lives that keep us separate from God and try to move beyond them, through them, past them, that we can become closer to God. When we say that, that Jesus forgives all of our sins, that our sins are forgiven in Jesus on the cross, we come to understand that that could also mean that in Jesus, God and humanity come together completely. And so there is no separation. There is no sin. And as we recognize our lives reflected in the life of Jesus, unto the cross even, the suffering and death, we recognize that God is present in our lives, in our suffering and in our death, and in also in our resurrection. And when we recognize that, there is no separation between us and God. And so sin is healed, forgiven. The, the gap is bridged. We thought a lot today about, about sin and how we can overcome it. How God reaches out to us, reminding us that God is present and we need not sin. And how we need to open our eyes and recognize those invitations to come to the table with God all around us. Not just in church, but in, in dens of iniquity, in less than perfect worlds. Uh, we are invited to soar, to fly, even with broken wings, because there is no separation between us and God. At least there need not be. And so... Sin need not be either.
Anyway, that's the kind of stuff we talked about today, and it may have seemed a little strange, a little confusing, but perhaps if you joined us next week, you might be able to make sense of it with us, for us, or just for yourself. One way or the other, we certainly would love to see you. God bless.